We are celebrating the 200th anniversary of relations between Bahrain and the United Kingdom. It is a unique relationship uh, in this part of the world. It has been uh, uh, through, through many uh, historical uh, posts and it is now developed, it has developed into a friendship between the ruling family uh, of Bahrain and the royal family of Great Britain. Uh, it is something to be proud of and this is why this week must be worth the celebration and we are trying our best to make it so. We are very honored to have His Majesty as our patron and this puts a lot of responsibility upon us to make it really happen. We, we have over 50 events taking place within a week. This is so unique. Uh, the, I don't remember uh, an occasion where so many things were ha happening within that short period. And believe me, they're going to be worthwhile watching what's happening in the media, to see it uh, in the marketplace, to see activities relating to sports, to culture, to uh, uh, education, uh, business, engineering. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. What shall I say? I'll be unfair to say one is better than the other. But the exciting part is that we don't have just one channel. Uh, to have a uh, Philharmonic uh, Orchestra coming from the UK. This is a unique occasion. We never saw that in Bahrain before. To see, uh, uh, to see so many sports activities, cultural activities, engineering activities. This is unique. And having His Majesty as our patron opened a lot of doors for us and we are ever so grateful for His Majesty. This is not just going to attract Bahrainis who are very interested, but it's going to attract the region. You're going to hear of so many people coming from Saudi Arabia, from Kuwait, from UAE, from Qatar. For the whole region would be interested to see such an incident taking place in Bahrain. There is no doubt that having uh, such uh, momentum taking place in Bahrain now will help Bahrain's economy. It will also help the, the business that is already flourishing between the United Kingdom and the Kingdom of Bahrain. Uh, and we must think of Bahrain as only the Bahraini economy. Bahrain is an economy that serves the largest economy in the whole GCC, which is Saudi Arabia. Don't forget, we're only about 40 minutes drive from 75% of the GDP of Saudi Arabia. And there are many companies placed in Bahrain to do business in Saudi Arabia. So Bahrain is going to benefit out of this, out of the business generated for Bahrain and a lot more for Saudi Arabia and the region. I would love to see, for example, that the special relationship that we have maintained in the past continues to grow for the future. Uh, I remember days when we didn't have to have a visa to go to the United Kingdom. And I don't think it's necessary to have a visa to go to the United Kingdom, especially for Bahrainis. Uh, I think we should have that removed. It gives us a reason to celebrate our, on our 200th anniversary that Bahrainis travel to the UK without a visa. We, we don't uh, intend to go there and uh, uh, make, a burden, make, uh, make us a burden on the UK economy. We go there to invest, we go there to make money for the British and for ourselves.